Hello, welcome to day 19 of Vlogmas. So today I'm planning on doing some Christmas crafts later this afternoon to add to the Christmas decorations in the lounge. But first of all, I've got a couple of handmade garments on that I want to show you. So the first one is the t-shirt, and this is the Frankie t-shirt by Tilly and the Buttons. And I've modified the neckline, I've used the Agnes neckline from a different Tilly and the Buttons pattern, because I like a lower neckline. The original Frankie t-shirt comes up quite high. And it's out of this gorgeous art gallery fabric, and I picked this up from Minerva Crafts. I will see if I can find it again and put the link in the description bar down below if you want to get hold of some. I'm sure they still sell this print. It is absolutely gorgeous and I'm very tempted to order some more of it because it is so cheerful and lovely. The second thing I'm wearing is a miet skirt. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's also a pattern by Tilly and the Buttons and it's a just past the knee skirt. Hopefully you can see the bottom and it has some huge pockets at the front and some ties and this one is made of some chambray I could have done with using a slightly heavier weight fabric because it is a little bit lightweight to hold the shape of these pockets it hasn't actually misshapen the fabric it just sort of hangs a little bit funny um, but I can still wear it sort of around the house and I'm definitely going to make another one of these again it's a wrap around skirt you can see where the back wraps over just there so it's really comfy. So let's show you my socks. So I've decided to make a little angel to go on the Christmas tree and I'm going to use the same pattern as I made for the large angel and it's out of this book and I'll leave a link to it in the description bar and I basically want to use the pattern for this angel it's called a blue angel but I'm going to make her 50% smaller than the pattern suggests in the beginning so the pattern pieces um, are like this big for the body and then I've use the photocopier to make it 50% of the size so she's going to be a lot smaller than the verse version <laughs> so with the tilde patterns you tend to have the template and you have to trace out that line onto the material and that is the stitch line and then you can cut it out around there giving a bit of a seam allowance so basically for the legs for instance I folded two layers of fabric over and I'm going to place the template over the top draw around 
where I need to stitch and then use that as a guide to stitch all the way around the leg and then once I've done a couple of those I'll I'll stitch them as a piece of material like this and then once I've stitched them I'll cut them out so I've got to do two legs two arms some wings that are going to be in a white fabric and then I've got the body now the body is part like a skin color which I've used a sort of a it looks like hand dyed material but it's not it's just a print um, it's like a beigey colour, I thought that that would fit in quite nicely and you basically cut it out so that you've got the body is then white so it's like as if it's already dressed and I've got two of those, I'm going to put them right sides together I'm going to place this over the top, draw over where I want my stitch line to be and then stitch it and then cut it out afterwards There we are, ready to stitch on the machine. There is the body and all the legs and arms. now I've stitched all the the legs and the rest of the pieces I'm going to cut them out and going to stuff them so I used a 1.5 millimeter seam allowance and I'm actually taking it just a bit less than a quarter of an inch and I might snip into the seam allowance as well in some places before I start turning it the other way so I've cut one out and in order to turn it the right way I've got a straw, one of the old plastic McDonald's straws and a bodkin. I'm going to put the straw inside the piece that I've stitched around right to the end. Oops, it hasn't gone right through. Oh, her ankle's a bit skinny, I have to be careful about poking it in. So I've poked the straw in as far as I can. She's got skinny ankles, so I'm going to just have to poke the end in from here to turn it inside out. If you poke the bodkin inside the straw, and then you can bring the fabric over the bodkin, and then you can poke out the other end using the bodkin, which is a bit fiddly for this. She's obviously got very skinny ankles, this one. So hopefully I'll be able to turn the other pieces in a similar way. Well here's how she looks so far, she needs to have a dress and I need to put her hair and her facial features on, um, but she's coming along nicely. It's on. So what do you think Adam, do you think she's going to be the right size? I think she'll be about the right size, do you? Yeah. She, she might need some clothes. She will have a dress on tomorrow oh, okay. and a face and Great. some hair. Good. Yeah. Time for chocolate. Day 19. Yeah. Down here. It's not far till Christmas Day now. Yeah. Ooh, Ferrero Rocher. And, oh, a rather melted. <laughs> Do you think we ought to move those from away from the radiator? No. And another melted one. Two you've melted got, lints. You've got three big chocolates. <gasps> So, what are we going to get today? Number 19. Ooh, it's a person. Let's get in the bag.
we've got Padma today. Two little Christmas kitty cats today. Oh, this feels full. <gasps> I've got three. I have a galaxy, what's it, a caramel, galaxy caramel, a white chocolate lint, and a milk chocolate. 